Breaking news, SEC sources have confirmed Gary Gensler, the SEC chairman's resignation. So earlier today, I was scrolling across Twitter and I uncovered this tweet right here, which cites the SEC sources confirm Gary Gensler's resignation. And extremely quickly, I did a review of the article. It looked kind of legit and I posted this quote tweet saying, breaking news, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission officially confirms Gary Gensler's resignation. If this is to be true, it is extremely bullish for XRP. Now let's be honest to ourselves. this would make a lot of sense, specifically since Gary Gensler has been caught on multiple occasions completely market manipulating the entire cryptocurrency space. In fact, multiple groups have claimed that Gensler has been using his position as the SEC chairman to influence and spread false and misleading information about digital assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum in order to drive down their price and benefit his own interests. Funny enough, the group also alleges that Gensler has a conflict of interest as he's the former partner of Goldman Sachs, a major player in the traditional financial system that competes with cryptocurrencies. The most recent market manipulation uncovered and that has been completed by Gary Gensler is Coinbase providing evidence to Gary Gensler placing over $2.5 million in Bitcoin shorts just 48 hours prior to the Coinbase and Binance lawsuit. Additionally, within this lawsuit, not only was Coinbase and Binance and multiple other exchanges sued, but also a bunch of cryptocurrencies were also deemed securities, thus affecting the price of Bitcoin and making it collapse. Additionally, Capo says, as a matter of fact, this is not the first time that Mr. Gary Gensler has been accused of market manipulating with inside information. Back on August 2022, multiple reports showed similar instances where he took part in market manipulation. This begs the question of why hasn't this brought more light in the past to Gary Gensler's actions? Now, real quickly, before we jump right into the article, I do want to ask that you guys please simply tap the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on for all the latest crypto content and most importantly, share this video to your friends and family. You don't want to miss this video because it's so content packed so watch it till the end and let me know what you think because I'll be reading and responding to every single comment. That being said, let's jump straight into it. The article posted on thecryptoalert.com stated some breaking news statements saying that anonymous sources and an anonymous SC official who spoke on the condition of anonymity due to the sensitive nature of the matter stated Gary Gensler has resigned from his position as chairman of the SEC following an internal investigation into alleged misconduct. The details of the investigation are confidential, but the decision to step down underscores the seriousness of the findings. It also cites that in a stunning revelation, an anonymous official from the SEC has reportedly disclosed that Gary Gensler, the current chairman of the SEC, has submitted his resignation following an internal investigation. The bombshell news has sent shockwaves through the financial industry, raising concerns about the integrity of the regulatory body and the implications for investors' confidence. Funny enough, I want to take a side step to discuss the fact that there's probably a lot of pressure for Gary Gensler's resignation by multiple people in Congress, additionally by the former SEC chairman Jay Clinton, which actually had filed a lawsuit on Ripple and in a statement had stated that there is no regulatory clarity for cryptocurrencies at the SEC right now, and so he cited the fact that the Gary Gensler, the current chairman, is overstepping his power. Imagine your former SEC chairman, the guy that was before Gary Gensler, telling Gary Gensler that he doesn't have the authority to go ahead and sue companies because the SEC doesn't have jurisdiction. It shows you the amount of pressure that Gary Gensler is facing. Additionally, Warren Davidson, a Congress official, cited that it's time to fire Gary Gensler and restructure the SEC. Once again, reaffirming that Congress wants to go ahead and remove Gary Gensler. And so rather than firing him, a better way is to make him resign as it looks more professional for the Democratic Party, specifically since the SEC chairman is appointed by the Democratic Party rather than being elected like any other official government position. All right, back to the article. It cites that Gary Gensler took home of the SEC in April 2021, vowing to strengthen market oversight and protect investors. His tenure was marked by a robust approach to regulation, particularly in the areas of cryptocurrencies and digital asset. Gensler's background in finance and his reputation for informing stringiest regulations earned him respect among some industry experts. However, the recent anonymous revelation has thrown a shadow of doubts over Gensler's leadership. The news of an internal investigation raises questions about potential improperties and whether his actions were in line with the standards expected from the head of a regulatory body. 
One anonymous industry insider commented the resignation of Gary Gensler in the wake of an internal investigation is deeply concerning. It calls into question the integrity and effectiveness of the SEC under Gary Gensler's leadership. The financial industry relies on the SEC to ensure fair and transparent markets and any allegations of misconduct at the top level erode investor trust. Another individual emphasized the importance of accountability in regulatory agencies, citing that SEC has a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the financial markets when the head of a such institution faced allegations serious enough to prompt resignations, it raises significant concerns about the regulatory framework and the enforcement of rules. The SEC must address these issues swiftly and transparently to restore confidence. The exact nature of alleged misconduct or the details of the internal investigation remain undisclosed, leaving room for speculation and uncertainty. Until an official statement is released by the SEC or Gary Gensler himself, the public and financial industry can only speculate on the reason behind his resignation. Again, this is huge, huge, huge news. I will go ahead and say that I truly believe that the resignation by the SEC chairman Gary Gensler is due to the Ripple SEC lawsuit because of the massive influence that it has and because a ruling of the SEC Ripple lawsuit will give clarity or won't give clarity to the crypto market. If Ripple loses this lawsuit, then multiple, and I mean 99.9% .9 of the crypto space is going to be deemed securities, except for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And this means that it is going to devastate the crypto space. I also want to add that Gary Gensler might not want to settle, because as of now, I think he feels like he's fighting a personal battle, which means he doesn't want to give up to Ripple. And this puts the government in a bad position, to which the SEC chairman doesn't want to settle, but is going to make them lose the lawsuit because he doesn't want to settle. And so he, they are forcing him to basically resign. Again, this is truthfully crazy. XRP's price is skyrocketing, up over 2.83% with a massive upward spike, ranging at 48.4 cents. XRP is showing extremely bullish signs. Now, real quickly, before we jump into that, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break and roll the sponsor of today's video. Now, before we move further into this video, if you're trying to make yourself a ton of XRP by staking it, you have to use Dexpo, which is linked in the description. Now, I do want to say that they just sponsored this video, but they are actually one of the greatest platforms that I personally use to stake my XRP, and I've been staking with them for some time. Now, keep in mind, they give you your profits every single eight hours and have over 386 million dollars in total protocol liquidity and that's increasing on a daily basis they also have over 383 pairs and feature all of the top cryptocurrencies including some of these smaller ones as well so you can basically stake any cryptocurrency that you hold and to top it off for you guys they're doing a 100 xrp liquidity bonus in which you get a 10 day liquidity bonus the offer is limited and make sure you guys take advantage of this again the link is down in the description they have a bunch of options like top up withdraw and viewer transactions and it is extremely simple to do all of this and you can actually complete it in only a few clicks i personally have not only been able to withdraw my profits but also my initial investment and they allow you to unlock your liquidity at any point in time and reap the rewards still that you have gained so you basically don't lose that being said make sure you guys do use the link in the description and let's get right back into the video in fact a crypto influencer on twitter has said that once the ripple sc lawsuit ends we are going to see $100 per XRP easily. Just imagine $100 per XRP from XRP's current price of 48 cents. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about bullet. It is extremely rare to see a cryptocurrency even have potential to hit $100 per coin from 50 cents, except for XRP. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and I'll see you next time. Peace.